here's my video on how to use Google Sites. Open up your Internet Explorer. You can go to Google.com. Once you're to Google.com, you're going to sign in. Uh, to sign in, you need an account. If you don't have one, you just sign up for one. They give you your email, and they'll give you an account. Once you're signed in, you go to Sites. See, I already have a site, and it, uh, it'll show it to you. And I'm going to create a new site. You have a bunch of templates to choose from. Uh, you can choose a sports type one. I'm just going to have a blank uh, template to start off with. I'm going to name my site Presentation. Uh, if you notice, they give you the same URL name as what you name your site. Uh, sometimes other people are going to have the same URL, so you have to go back manually and change it. It's not going to change the name of your site, so you don't have to worry about it. Once you create your site, it's going to give you your home page. This is the template I chose. You're going to go down there. You're going to go to Manage Site. Here are just all the other options. Go to Manage Site. I'm going to go to Colors and Themes. And uh, you can change the background color of your page. Uh, you can choose a custom ch color. You can really choose whatever color you want. I'm, I'm just going to put in red. And it shows you what it looks like. Now I'm going to put in a background image. And you do this by browsing your H drive. So you uh, click on Browse and pull up your H drive. I'm going to go to My Pictures, open that up, and I'm just going to pick a picture. Once you upload that, it's going to show it to you. That's a little off center, so I can change it. I'm going to I'm going to show uh, top so you can see more of the picture. Now that isn't perfect, but you can always go back and edit it. And uh, some links are just not really great colors, so I'm going to change mine to a uh, very dark blue so you can see it nice. And here are just all the rest of the uh, tools that you can do to fix up your home page and make it look exactly how you want it. Make sure you save your changes after you do this too, or else all that hard work is going to be for nothing. Now that I customized my home page, I'm going to make a new sub page. I'm just going to name it New Page. It's going to be a normal web page, and I'm going to put it under my home page. Now that you see this under my home page, I'm going to go back to uh, my home page, and I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to put in a little introduction. And you can do this to all your pages. All you got to do is click edit, and it'll give you the text to write it in. I'm going to insert, and I'm going to go to... Um, Google uh, more gadgets and I'm gonna click on Pac-Man you can do uh, whatever gadget you want you just gotta search it and they have a bunch of gadgets so I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for you can change the uh, width and height to uh, whatever you want for it to fit nicely on your page and there we go it's now on my home page make sure you click save after that so you don't lose it Whoops. All right, now I'm going to click Save. There you go. Now I'm going to go to my new page, and I'm going to insert a YouTube video. So I go to Insert, go to Video, go to YouTube. Once you click on that, you got to paste in your own URL. I've already picked one out, and I'm going to paste it in. Click Done, and there you go. Your YouTube video is pasted in. I'm going to click on Properties just to show you. It's just really just going to give you your URL again, so I'm going to click Done. And now I have my YouTube video in there. I'm going to click Save so it saves and I don't lose it. And now I'm going to add in a uh, link just in case my video isn't working. So you can just go to the site from there. So I'm going to click on Link. I'm going to go to web addresses. I'm going to repaste in that URL. I'm going to save it. There you go. Now you have that link. Uh, that little bar below just shows you that your link is working and it's not null. So there we go. I'm going to close out of that. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and save my changes again so I don't lose anything. There you go. Now it's saved.
go to more actions again. I'm gonna go to uh, manage your site or sh no share with others. Uh, you can do it as owners, as collaborators, or as a viewer. I'm just gonna send it to myself as a collaborator. Send it to my own email. I've already pasted it in. And uh, for your advanced permission options, you can actually share the site with everyone in the world, or you can just make it only viewable to whoever you want it to see. So that's really nice. It's a great option. Now I'm just going to email it to myself. I'm just going to tell them what I'm sending them. Now I'm sending it. My invitations have been sent. I'm going to go back to my home page. And that's how you use Google Sites.